Now, are y'all tired of breaking everything on NBA 2K23? Are you wondering why you ain't money like the ISO God Bruh. Sensei himself? Well, you came to the right video, people. I got y'all with not just one jump shot, not just two jump shots, but three different jump shots for each build. I have a six foot three, so I got y'all with the best jump shot for the six foot four and under the small guards. I have a six foot six, a medium guard, so I got y'all with the best jump shot with that too. And then I finally made the six foot nine. So I got y'all with the best jump shot with the six foot nine. I'm gonna use that gameplay first, and you're gonna see me going seven for seven, six for six, all jump shots, raw gameplay with these jump shots. As you can see, these are the jump shots, the official jump shots that you wanna use to be green on NBA 2K23. But there's more to it, people. And I'm gonna break it down because this is an educational channel. And I'm an educational man! So sit back and get ready for the educational aids! Cause you know Steezo like to shoot his threes. But how does he hit his threes? What are the secrets? Like the video, turn the noties on. And I'm gonna tell you right now! Cause as you can see people, it's not just about the jump shot. I'm not gonna lie, you can give me just about any good jump shot, whatever these YouTubers use, anybody and I can figure out how to green with it because I didn't figure it out. I didn't study the ones and zeros. I didn't broke it down code by code, frame by frame. I know that the secret to jump shooting Bruh. in this game is to forget everything that you think you know about anything. Forget everything you think you know about anything and listen to everything about anything that I am telling you about everything because the art of shooting a jump shot is an exquisite one it is an aids infested one at that because it used to be people just about knowing your timing but knowing your timing it's just not enough this time now you have to know four four different timings so there is a timing for each time now there's a timing for a time when you have full stamina that's your regular timing and then there's another timing for when you're halfway stamina that's another timing. And then there's another timing for when you're contested. It's another timing. And then the time where you're actually wide open, but he's kind of there, it's another timing on top of that. Like, what type of timing are these devs on this time? In these type of times! God damn it! You just have to forget everything that we learned on the past 2Ks. There are four different timings in the game. One for when you're contested, one from when you're wide open, one from when you're gassed, and one from when you have full stamina. It's just crazy, people. And you're only gonna learn this through trial and error. Go to the jump shot facility, wherever, your little practice facility, shoot some fucking greens, and notice the difference between two. You only gonna learn from playing it. That's what they not gonna tell you. It's not as much about the jump shot, the grades and that, as it is about just knowing your different timings. And the way that I know my different timings because I turn my jump shot meter off is to look at a visual cue. We use our eye to see the visual cue. Because if you notice, every jump shot I'm about to give you has the same release with a different base. Because this releases that I use has a visual cue on it. And I'm gonna be telling you what exactly I look for. As you can see, before I give you the base, the releases, all that, I'm going to give you the settings that I use to shoot on. Now, this is me personally. Like I said, it's subjective to the person shooting. Everybody's going to have a different thing that they're comfortable with. But what I shoot on is actually very late. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dude, you're going to have a slower jump shot. No, you idiots. All that very late does is change where you're gonna release it for the green window. But the jump shot animation, it is not the speed of it. It's just how long you hold square. So very late will not slow down your jumper. It'll just change the time on how long you have to hold the square button. And the reason why I put it to very late is because I remember the visual cue on what it looks like on very late. Now the visual cue I use is I look at the wrist. As soon as I see the ball rise and the wrist start to bend and it gets to the top, the peak of my jump shot, I know to release square. And the very late is there for a reason because there's different timings. 
if my timing is a fast one because it's a contested shot the contested shots are a little bit faster my rise up will be quicker and the very late will come into play because it'll give my brain my mind enough time to recognize that i'm going up quicker so that i know to release it a little bit quicker than my usual timing you see the very late is there so it gives you enough time to know what type of timing you will get when you rise for the jump shot let's say your timing is a little bit slower because you're wide open you have full stamina or your limitless range the way you rise up will reflect that so the very late will give you enough time to recognize that realize that and just know okay this is one where i have to hold a little bit longer as you rise up that's all the very late is for people is it gives you enough time to know the one of four timings you get when you take the jump shot and that was my logic going into it and it's so imprinted in my mind i have such a habitual way of looking at shit i have such a muscle memory repetition way of just looking at this game that there's no other way i can go back we shoot on very late this year if you're not comfortable with that that's perfectly fine as long as you know there's four different timings and you know your visual cue this will help you on any jump shot that you use and this is the most realest channel because i'm here to expose everything that mike wang tried to trick us with this year you thought you can beat me mike i done seen through the genjutsu i seen that there are four different type of jump shots and i'm here to expose everything that you think you can get us with you will not win. I won again, Mike. You cannot stop me. I will break down this game. I will dissect this game. I will break this game. And there's nothing you can do about it. God damn it. Hit the like and subscribe. Now, the first jump shot I will be giving y'all for the six foot threes, the six foot fives, the high three point rating jump shot will be none other than my favorite jump shot in the game it's the best jumper it is stephen curry base and you need a 91 3 to unlock this which is what you can do if you have a six foot three or six foot four anything under six foot five you can have a 91 3 if you are under six foot five i highly suggest you get this jump shot it is the best jump shot in the game people in my opinion for me the stephen curry base oscar robertson release one that is a a common theme you're gonna see throughout my jump shots I like the Oscar Robertson the way he bends the wrist and stuff like that and then release to Stephen Curry 88% Robertson 12% Curry with the fastest jump shot speed a plus a plus a plus a minus timing impact now I'm gonna show a quick little gameplay of me using it as you see we got the level 40s pulling up on us just a little bit of the visual cues or just little things that I do to make sure I can optimize my green window as you could say and he's playing me too close so we started off with the midi and I'm gonna go through in the future the jump shot badges that you want because obviously I have my green machine activated it helps because whites don't really fall too much this year so you're gonna want green machine let me know if you want the full badge video in the future 10k likes but look they just don't know what to do with me he's jumping wide open the stamina bar is low the adrenaline's low but i still green it this stephen curry jump shot base is the quickest in the game mixed with the trey young fade i'm gonna do a video on that as well like a lot of people they like the six nine the taller players but the smaller players people this six foot three is my best shooting build it is comp as hell if you know how to use them obviously defense will be the liability but offensively the smaller players they got it because they get the best jump shot bases it's just the way it is they are the best shooting builds in the game do not give up on your 6-3 if you have it because it can do things like this in that capacity I will be doing videos on all my builds this year and as you can see six for six from three eight for eight we took about two middies it was all green though this jump shot is the truth like subscribe turn the noties on we got the next heights coming up right now now the second jump shot will be for my six six with about an 89 three point rating i don't know if you watched my last video you only need an 88 three point rating for this shot but you need to be between six five and six ten it's perfect for the six sixes is the clyde drexler base rudy gay release one oscar robertson release two 
and the blending will be about 8% Rudy Gay, 92% Oscar Robertson. We like the Oscar Robertson release because of the way that the wrist bends on the Oscar Robertson. It's perfect for the visual cue. The release speeds are A+, plus, release height's good, good defensive immunity, A+. Plus. Timing impact's pretty low, but you're not gonna get nothing too great on a four out of four speed but it doesn't even matter because the visual cue is what i'm about to show y'all to look for with the gameplay with the 6-6 six, six using the jump shot now this 6-6 six, six might be one of my favorite builds in the game it could literally do everything it's a little bigger so it's not going to be as quick but the jump shot is just as formidable as the six foot three as you can see he's still very quick because he's a little bit taller he has the longer strides hyper drive hall of fame quick first step hall of fame like as i said like this 6-6 this six, six could really do everything the fades are super quick as you can see I'm using normal two dribble pull up because we don't get the Trey Young but the normal two is still money as you can see and we look for the bend of the wrist on the Oscar Robertson and you memorize it and you get it down you do repetition until you just figure it out you have to recognize the four different speeds the mid range is a little bit quicker so you got to do it a little bit quicker the long range is very slow so you got to hold it a little bit slower and the more you practice it the more you memorize it and the more it just becomes second nature people and as you can see six for six two mid ranges six threes that's what we do people doesn't get much deeper than that and now for the final most anticipated most demanded everybody got their six nines they got the 85 three ball anywhere from 85 to 92 boots diesel i got a low three ball do you have a jump shot for me i'm six nine you have a jump shot for me yes for making it this far in the video you deserve it six foot nine you want to use this jump shot right here you want to use lamello ball base it is one of the quickest bases for low three-point shots because i'm assuming you guys probably made you know longer arms if you like the longer arms for the defense you wanted your contact dunks you'd have to go a little bit longer arms you probably need a low three ball jump shot lamello ball base is the base for you and of course we go with our oscar robertson release one release two 50 50 it doesn't even matter it's just oscar robertson we like the bend of the wrist a plus release height a plus defense immunity a plus speed timing impact is a c minus but i'm gonna tell y'all if you know the patterns that we've been looking for for the visual cue the very late timing and we're gonna get into it right now with the gameplay now that dribble pull up you see right there is the normal two same thing we use for our 6-6 six, six. it's a best dribble pull up basically for the taller builds if you don't have trey young you're gonna want to use those right there people now this 6-9 is not even finished yet i still need to get its badges but as you can see it creates so much space and any jump shot that is shooting that wide open should be money same visual cue because we use the oscar robertson with the very late timing not the speed very late timing you can fix that in the settings as you can see we use 4-4 speed but we put it on very late because we wait for the wrist to bend we get to the peak of the jump shot and then we release the square button and it turns green we remember the four different releases and we can tell which release we get depending on the rise up on the jump shot if he rises up slow you're gonna have to hold it a little longer if it's a quick rise up you gotta release it a little earlier like i said this year was very tricky they gave you four different jump shot speeds and you need to master and know all of them and as you can see seven for seven from three with a six foot nine who's doing that people but i love all of y'all man i hope this helps like i said it doesn't really matter the jump shot people you can have any jump shot but if you don't know about this different release stuff then you're gonna be struggling and i got more tutorials coming soon i got the dribble six for the six nines for all builds basically the best dribble pull-ups the best badges on all three builds i'm using all three builds this year i got all of y'all sensei steez don't believe in yourself believe in me believe in the me that believes in all of you i love all of y'all man we grinding every two to three days i've been dropping a vid hope y'all appreciate the grind hit the like hit the subscribe turn the notes on hope y'all have a beautiful day peace yeah, 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 yeah. I live in a constant state of fear and misery. Do you miss me anymore?